In our rainiest team of the week trophy presentation yet, maybe ever, Homestead prepared for the Division II state finals. The Highlanders with their first trip to Camp Randall since 2012. Well, it's really special because they are in it together. As one of our coaches said at a team dinner a little bit ago, they're all in. That was certainly the case last week against Chippewa Falls. Down 13 in the first quarter and down 9 in the fourth quarter, Homestead battled back twice to win 27 23. We just didn't want it to end there, you know. We want to keep going. We knew we had a special group. The seniors are awesome. Phenomenal coaching staff here. We just wanted to go out and go as far as we possibly could. It's been a wet and wild ride to get back to Camp Randall. After starting out the season 2-2, two and two, now in a position to capture their fifth state crown. You know, it's kind of surreal. We never thought, I mean, we were just joking about it in the beginning of the season, but now we're here, so it's, it's, it's great. Standing in their way, last week's Team of the Week, Waukesha West. In every big game, it comes down to two things, in my opinion. It's who plays a better defense and who controls the turnovers. So controlling turnovers and playing great defense are the two keys to victory. Make it sound easy, right? <laughs> exactly. If it, was, <laughs> if it was only that way, every coach in America would do that. But uh, whoever does those two things the best, I think, will be successful. Congratulations, Homestead Highlanders. You are our frenzy Team of the Week. Oh!